Ah, no! I d <laughs> oh, I didn't realise I didn't click the live start live stream. Oh, <laughs> Book in the chat reminded me that I was just being stupid. I was just being stupid. Oh my god, what what was going on there? What what, what the hell was going on there? Why? <laughs> I just did like one of my best intros as well, and I wasn't even streaming for it. I just did one of my best intros that I've ever done for a live stream, and I wasn't streaming. Oh, it's already. Might as well just end the live stream here. <laughs> right. Anyway, let's get back to it. Thank you, Book, for for <laughs> catching me out on that. Um, yeah, I I literally was stream. Oh, I was like, I thought I was streaming. I'm glad that you said, "Come on, go live," because I would have just been sat here unaware of the fact that I haven't gone live. Um, but yeah, we've got a couple of people in the chat. Logan's in the chat. So is Lucas. How's it going, guys? Hope you guys have had a great day today. But yeah, basically what I've said before this is uh, this is obviously Season 5 in the chat. Uh, season 5 in FIFA. I think it's our first season in the Championship. Um, so yeah, we've got a pre-season tournament coming up, obviously. Um, yeah, I think this season we're going to try and you know really push for promotion in the Premier League. I'm sick of the Championship at the moment, so I think we are going to make quite a big push to try and get in to the Premier League for next season so hopefully fingers crossed guys we can uh we can sort that out um let's have a quick look at the lineup I guess we could put I mean Linz is in there what we could do is we could put Dujon Sterling across there that might be that might be a bit better um but yeah so we're currently rocking a 3-5-2 I think that was what we experimented with a bit towards the end of last season. Um, and it seems to be working out. I seem to be playing. I, I enjoyed playing with it. Um, but yeah, like I say, guys, we're definitely going to be trying to push for promotion this season. That's that's the ideal goal. Logan, you still feel sick. Oh, man, dude. What's it been? It's been like four days since I went live last, I think. Four or five days. And you said you were feeling ill back then as well, man. That's a... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that it's not your your illness hasn't gone away yet because yeah, that's that, that really sucks, dude. Right, like I say, we've got preseason tournament. Our first game in this against Empoli. Let's go. Got to play this game, right? Got to get warmed up. First game on the stream, always have to play it. All right, let's go. Let's get straight into it. I yeah. So obviously, again, we are in the transfer window now, so I'm not too sure how much money I have, but. I know, Lucas, if you're still in the chat, I know you were telling me to go and make an offer for Florin El Coman for quite some time. And I said that I would try and make an offer for him. And I think towards the end of my last live stream, I did try to make an offer for him. And I was trying to be really cheeky, you know, I was getting, I was only, I wasn't offering as much as they were wanting me to uh, offer. And I don't know if I still have the chance to sign him. Because I think he cost pretty much all of my transfer budget. And I I didn't see myself wanting to spend all my money on one player. I've I got to check him out after this. Because, like I say, I mean, I have been telling you that, you know, I'll certainly give him a, give him a look and check him out. And, you know, like I'd say, I, I always try to um, listen to you guys in the chat as much as I can. To try and get you guys involved as much as possible. So, I'm certainly going to be looking at it. Um, even though I don't think I'm going to be able to sign him. Well, ref. Ah, that was a poor shot. I don't even know why I decided to take a shot there. Do a player career mode of you playing for Grimsby Town, do you say? Man, you're going to have to like... <laughs> that, <laughs> I mean, that, that sounds funny. Like, But you, you, you'd have to make sure that... I get it looking exactly like you, because <laughs> I haven't got a, I ain't got a clue what you look like. So, I mean, I'll do it. It'll be fun, I guess. What I also want to do is maybe make a team of you guys. You know, people in my live stream chat. You guys can help me make a team, and we can start off in League Two, and just see how it goes. Obviously, I'm not going to make them the best players in the world, um, because then that's just cheating. But I want to give you guys, you know, like. The potential to be a young player in a team with just a really high ceiling you know have like an overall rating of like or a potential of like 90 something man we've had our chances we're just not i mean we've definitely had a lot more of the ball than 
Empoli so far in this first half. It's just not coming off for us, man. I don't know what's going on with that final ball. Yeah, it's just not, just not working out for us at the moment. We need to get a goal. We've been all over them. We need to get the ball back. Good interception, not so much. Oh, uh, come on. That's it, that's it. Get the ball back. Win the ball back. Oh, come on, man. You've done so well to get the ball back there. That's it. That's it. Good interception. Right, now let's create on the counter-attack. Oh, look at that. Nice little ball around the corner. And Dilu's looking for him. Sanchez rebass. Oh, oh, come on. Almost, almost. It's not, it's not happening for us so far today, guys. I am concentrating way too hard. I can see people are <laughs> writing messages in the chat out of the corner of my eye, but I'm concentrating way too hard, trying to make it to halftime. I'll make sure to go back and look at your messages at halftime. I'm just trying so hard not to concede right now. There we go. Good interception. Right. We need this counter-attack. Oh, Sanch Ref! Well done, Ref. That's it. He just gets crowded out by two... Two defend, two attacking players, two defensive players even. But there's no way that was a two on one, and it was just a tangle of legs, I guess. But what are you? D what are you? Oh, what am I? I don't know why I'm saying. What are you doing? It's me with a controller in my hand. It's me not doing good FIFA, basically. Oh, this is. Come on, that's it. That's it. Well, as we can see, there's not much at all to choose between these two teams in terms of trying to slip it through. Oh, yes, there we go. Sanchez rebass. Nice little one two with race, was that? I think it was race. That's what I'm talking about. In three days, it's Christmas. Yeah, I know, man. Why do you have to be sick on Christmas, man? I, I mean, you still got a couple of days to get better, I guess. Like, yeah. Man, I hope you do feel better at Christmas because, yeah, it sucks to be. Sucks to be ill on Christmas. Look at my dad's channel. Your dad's channel? Your dad has a channel? I mean, put it in the chat and I'll check it out. Do a player career mode of... Yeah, I already saw, I saw that. It's six foot ginger CM, slim and fast and strong. Fair enough, mate. I mean, I, can, mate, I mean, if that's something that you guys want me to do and I'll... I don't know, you guys can create some players for me. You guys can like, I don't know, just give a brief description of yourself or just a random description of what a player would look like. And then maybe I can take like 18 of them. I don't know how many we'll get. I don't know if it'll just be created by like a few guys in the chat. Because I mean, I say you guys, there's only three people in and there's only really a couple of people who actually regularly watch this stuff. But yeah, for sure. I mean, if that's something you want me to do, then I'll have your input on players that I can create. It doesn't have to be like, anyone you know in real life just give me a random description of a player and then I'll spend the live stream um, looking at them and trying to create them to the best of my imagination trying to create a you know not like a team of just like 18 year olds who all have potential to be 94 rated and just like work on the grind and getting them up through the division starting off as a young young team and then just getting better as we go on that would be cool to be fair Oh, tried tried a little cross over the top into the centre of the box, but it just didn't come off. There we go. There's a half-time whistle. Half-time whistle. Six foot. It's always you. Six foot, man. Is that how tall you are in real life? Because that is that is tall. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm like six one, but I haven't. I've, the last time I measured my height was probably before university, so I, I, I mean, I doubt that I've grown, but yeah, the last time I measured my height, I was six foot, six foot one. Um, and like I say, I mean, that was a good few years ago now, so I have no idea how much my height has changed. Oh, uh, that's it. Right to Pereira, that's it. Safe hands, mate. Safest hands in the championship. Oh my god, he almost just threw it into that player as I said that. Let's go. Look at that. Through ball. Cut back. Cut back. Oh, why? Why did you pay it forward to him? I was looking at Cabral down here on this near side. I don't know why. Like, I saw Cabral making that run, and I have no idea why I didn't play it through to him. I, I held down Y for as long as I wanted to, and it just didn't find its way to him. That's what I mean. Like, why holding it down for longer should mean that you're picking out the person who is further away. That's what I think it should do. It shouldn't just give it more power to someone who's close, you know. Ah, oh, Cabral. 
Oh come on, no. Ah, oh, I should have just, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have headed it there. I shouldn't have headed it there. Stay on it, stay on it, stay on it. Win it back, easy, easy money. Sanchez rebass. Oh, oh, almost, almost. It has to be 99 rated, by the way. I don't think you can be 99 rated. I swear. Nah, I swear in like career mode, the cap is like 94, I think. I don't think you can be ever ever have someone who's like 99 rated in career mode. I think the cap is 94. That's why all the like potentials of all of the youth players are always like 90 to 94 if you find a good one. Cube Nesda 29 is his channel. Cool, man. I'll, I'll check it out. 5 foot 12, 14. You're... Mate, that is so fucking tall. That is so tall. Like, yeah, I, like when you said you was like six foot, I was like, well, wow, wait a minute, six foot. You, I swear, you said that you're like, yeah, fourteen, fifteen years old. That's why I questioned it. But that's, I mean, that's that's impressive, dude. Like, that is hella tall. And I, and I, I don't know, like, I guess you'll go through like a growth spurt soon. And you'll probably be up to like 6'4 by the time you leave high school, which would just be fucking crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, I think I'm like 6'1, 6'2, maybe. I don't know. Like I say, I haven't measured my height since, you know, three or four years ago, really. So I haven't got a clue. That's it, that's it. Work on it, work on it. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. oh, unlucky lads. I mean, we've been on top of them all game. Uh, we have absolutely been all over Empoli. We've only just got one goal. That's the only annoying thing. We have been completely dominating this game. In my opinion, at least. I think like we've, we've, we've played well so far. We just need to not let it slip and concede a sloppy goal. That's it. That's it. Calm it down. You don't have to do anything stupid. They've got, they're, the, they're the team that's got to come up against us. We can just cruise to the final whistle now, but we're not going to. We're going to go for that second goal. We need to give ourselves a comfortable cushion. Ten minutes left, and it's always going to be nervy in the final few moments, especially with only a one-goal lead. We just need to not let this slip, lads. It's an easy victory for us. I mean, maybe not as easy as we would have hoped with more goals, but... I mean, we've won it. Oh, yes, Pereira. Good save. I wasn't too sure if that was going on target or not. I don't know why you've passed it there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Pereira. Right, calm it down. Calm it down. All right. Calm it down. That's it. Just get rid. Don't do anything fancy short. Oh. Oh, it's worked out. The long ball tack. The long ball tackers. Oh, yes, Pereira. Makes up for it. With that, I mean, it's not an assist, is it? It's an assisting the assister, but... Ooh, that was a that was a nice little ball over the top to Ndelu, who just knocks it down into the path of Sanchez Ribas, and it's just a perfectly timed 1-2 as well. Ndelu times his run perfectly, just about stays on side, and absolutely smashes that into the back of the net. Come on, that's what I'm talking about, man. That was a fantastic, fantastic long ball from the goalkeeper Pereira there. I mean... Made a mistake a few moments ago, giving the ball away. Luckily, that didn't result in um, Empoli scoring. But, yeah, he's made up for it more there with that fantastic pass. And there we go. Final whistle 2-0. That's what I'm talking about, lads. Absolutely amazing. Getting off in the preseason tournament to a great start. That's always what we need. 2-0. Come on. Look at that. I mean... <sighs> Yeah, we had, you know, five out of six shots on target. We didn't actually dominate the possession. I thought we had more of the possession. Huh. We did only limit them to two shots, but they were both on target. But I I, I mean, I felt like we, we had a lot more control in that game than obviously we had. But you know what? I'll take it. 2-0. I'm not going to complain about a 2-0 uh, win, keeping a clean sheet. Helps us very much. I think this preseason tournament gives us about three million if we win it, which will be always, uh, always great. You know, every little helps. Right, I'll swim forward a bit. I don't know if we've got anyone like being scouted. 
I can't remember if we had anyone like on our scout list yet. <laughs> oh, apologies, guys. My nose is getting a bit. Oh yeah, we've got some. We've got some people on the scout list, I believe. Yeah, we've got some players on the scout list. I don't think anyone of these players is actually going to be any great, but. <laughs> Uh, doo -doo -doo. Wait, let's have a look actually. I know, like I was saying, we were trying to look at Florinel Coman. I don't know if I messed up with him by not giving him what he wanted. Or if I can have another go at him. Because I kind of want to have another go at this guy. Oh yeah, that was it. He's 8 million. He's 8 million and he's 39,500 and he's with Crystal Palace. I mean, he'd be fantastic for the team, but I just can't. I can't do that at the moment, I don't think. I don't think I have enough money for that. No, 14 million. Oh, oh, I mean, I, uh, I do have enough money for him. I guess I have to do some adjustments on the budget. Can I approach to buy him? Yes, I can. I'll have to do a tiny bit of adjustment on the financial side of things. Maybe, maybe we can do something like that and just try to offer him like 40k or something. I don't know. Right, let's go to the transfer hub. Let's try and get this done for Lucas in the chat. I don't know if he's still here, but let's see if we can get this done. Right, let's try to get Florin El Coman, player that he has been wanting me to sign for a couple of live streams now. So. I'm gonna see out my promise to him that I made. Offer transfer fee, let's let's maybe be like seven million. Eleven million. I can't I can't go to eleven, mate. I'll tell you what I can do. I can go to eight seven. Nine free. Ugh. I tell you what, mate. Nine, nine, and I'll shake your hands. Nine, and I will shake your hand, mate. Yeah, nine million. Cool. Win the tournament first. Yeah, I could. I mean, I can. I'll try and win the tournament, obviously. So what I'm gonna do in terms of trying to win the tournament is I'm gonna completely just rotate my team, sim this one, and then play the next one if we lose. Uh, da -da 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 -da, I guess Ndilu and Harrison can play. We've got Edwards, Linz, uh, who else do we have? We've got Clifton and someone else, Hassan Tyler. Hassan, Hassan Tyler? Hassan Tyler. Hassan Tyler. Yeah, see look, right now we don't have a left a left mid player, which is annoying. Which is why hopefully that Florinel Coman can help us out quite a bit. And do we have another player that we can rotate into the defence? We just have to put you there and we can put we can put you there and we can put Cordero in between the sticks. Hopefully we can sing this and win, which would be great. A lot less pressure on us in the final game that we will play. But we're going up against Boa Vista, who lost in their first game. So, fingers crossed, we can win this one as well. Uh. It's a point. A point's a point. A point. You know, it's a point. Welcome 400 subs. Hey man. Yeah, dude, like I say, man, that that was insane when that happened the other day. I was like, 100 subs, there's no way 100 people want to watch my shit. Turns out, I mean, I don't even know how many of them are active and how many of them just, like, hit subscribe and never watch anything. But 100 subs is 100 subs, you know, it's that's insane. That is ridiculous. Like I say, I'm, obviously it's Christmas time and I know my... I know... Uh, oh, oh, okay, wait a minute, sorry. I know it's Chris, sorry, I was, I was, I was just reading that uh, thing. I need to actually go and offer him a contract. But yeah, like I say, I know it's uh, Christmas time and everything. That's why I sort of haven't really been uploading as much or even making like any new videos, really. Like, I've been tending to do a bit more live streaming on here. I do want to get back into making videos. It's just, yeah, it's Christmas time. Busy with shopping and stuff and trying to get my, my trying to get my shit together for Christmas because I'm going back home for a few days so I don't know if I have a lot of uh, 
a lot of videos or streams up over the holiday period. Certainly towards the start of New Year's when I'm planning on getting back into it. Maybe just after Christmas, just before the New Year. Let's disregard the release clause. He only wants 23... He only wants 23 and a half K. Oh, yeah, cool, mate. He's taking a massive pay cut to come and see us. You're stuck at 18, oh, mate. 18. Hey, man, I mean, it's still a... I didn't, you said you had, like, 1K on your other channel or something, didn't you? I swear, you, yeah, it, it was you that said you had, like, 1K subs on your other channel, right? I'm fairly certain it was you. Right, we're going to go play this final game to make sure that we win the group. Um, let's put Davis, Race and Moore back on the pitch. The delightful trio of players that they are. Xavier, Cabral. Oh, we're actually going to give Coman his debut. There we go. Sanchez Ribas and Andilu. Both of them are right footed, so we can't really do anything about that. And then let's put Dooge back on the pitch as well. But Dujon can go on the right hand side, and Lombo Suarez can go in the middle. And then Pereira in there as well. Let's go. That was not you. This is That's your only YouTube channel. Before you said you had, like, you're called Wasp Ginger. I swear that was you as well. Someone else told me that they had like 1k subs and I was just like, damn dude. Oh, well, I also... That's the second mistake I've made today. I was meant to play that game. I mean, luckily we won. I could have just really fucked up there and got ourselves knocked out of the International Cup. Which would have been not great for, you know, trying to get more money. I just wasn't paying attention. I mean, I was. I was looking at my screen, but my, my hands weren't listening to what my brain was thinking. Because I set up the team to actually play that game. Anyway, let's uh, move on from that. We won. Ooh, Federico Castro. Ooh. Who is this kid? Who is this kid? Clifford Morrow. Don't mind if I do, mate. You're going in a transfer hub. Uh, you're not good enough for me, mate. Neither are you. Oh, this guy. This guy got signed up. This guy looked like he was like the next Ronaldo. For sure. Alex Maureed Claus, I don't need you anymore. And Jordi Hiwula, I do not need you anymore. You changed your channel name. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, let's play this game against Andelect. We are going to play this game this time. We're not going to... We're not going to mess up. We're not going to change the team. Because I want to play with Coman. That was the whole point in me putting Coman in the squad. Is because I wanted to play with our new signing. But me being me, I just messed up. Right, let's get into it. Semi-final of the preseason tournament. Against Andelect, the Belgian team. Let's see if we can come away from this... Uh, how do we fucking hit that obstacle? I give up with that. I give up with that. Alright, here we go. Here we go, guys. Playing against Andelect. Let's go. Also, I just realised that these, like... I mean, they're, they're, not, they're not that similar looking. Maybe it's just my eyes, but they do certainly look similar in terms of the kits. Sanchez rebass. Ooh, off to a great start. There we go. Inside three minutes, first goal coming in the semi-final. Sanchez Ribas, brilliant through ball from him. Dilu, I think that was absolutely amazing. Look at that! Look at that! He just takes it in his stride, gets past his man, takes it on his left foot. Goalkeeper can't get down in time to get any touch on that whatsoever. One nil. Let's go. That was just easy, man. Come on, that was easy. Something tells me that this stream might actually be enjoyable. You know, it's going good so far. I know it's only pre-season tournament, we haven't actually started any championship games yet, but this is a good signs of things to come, I hope. I hope. Let's give it a Coman. Go on, Coman. Oh, look at that pace. Ooh. Oh, good cross. It was a good cross. Oh, you're offside. You're miles offside. You're miles offside. Why? What is that? What is the best team I've played against in this career mode? So, I mean, the best team, so I played against I played against West Ham in an FA Cup, like I think it might have been last season. 
I played, so in my second season, or my first season, I think I came up against Man City in, like, the FA Cup, right, like, round of 16 or something, or, or it might have been, yeah, I think it might have been the FA Cup. And I almost beat, oh, I didn't say, I wouldn't say I almost beat them, I almost drew nil nil, drew nil nil with them, and forced a replay, oh my god, what are you doing, what are you doing, oh my god, I need to stop talking, oh, but yeah, I came up against Man City, and I almost forced a replay, drawing nil nil, and then they scored in, like, the last minute, and I was just like, oh my god, are you actually kidding me, I, I couldn't believe it, I was doing so well against them, I feel like I should have scored at least once in that game as well. I think there, I think it might be there is a video in my playlist in my 5020 playlist where I do come up against Man City and you'll see what I mean I mean I do keep in some of the bad bits in that episode as well I think but it was just I felt like that was a game that we should have and could have won against Man City which would have been it, that would have been incredible oh my god no 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 oh Pereira oh my god my defending still hasn't got better guys can confirm not playing FIFA in a couple of days is uh not improved my 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 defending let's say that let's just say that florino florino right there we go coman that's it on the inside here we go oh my god yep yep okay the kits are definitely confusing for my eyes right now i don't know why i think it's just because the backs of our shirts are black and the front of theirs are like really dark purple and i think that sometimes that's messing with my head Oh, and Dilu. Strong challenge, strong challenge from the defender. Oh, how were you trying to do some cheeky back heel, mate? Oh, my God. Oh, my... I Again, I, you look at the player that you want to change it to, right? Oh, he's offside. He's He was offside, surely. What is going on? How... Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, what is going on with our passing? We just can't, we just haven't had the ball in like the last. He's onside, he's onside. Woo! There we go, 2-0, that's what I'm talking about. That was better, that was better. Completely against the run of play, but 2-0, I will take it. Strikers combining yet again, that's what I'm talking about. This time, Sanchez Rebas turns provided with a perfectly timed through ball and Dilu runs onto it, definitely onside. Goalkeeper just can't react to it in time. It's just over his right shoulder. He should perhaps be making a save there. It is close enough to him to be getting across for that save, but he just didn't have his uh, reactions up to scratch there. So there we go, 2-0. Bridge and Dilu. That's what I'm talking about. Half an hour in, and it's 2-0. Fantastic, fantastic start to this preseason tournament semi final against Anderlecht. Like I gotta say, that second goal coming up against the run of play, it wasn't wasn't fantastic from Groomsby Town, but again, at the end of it, you know, as, as scrappy as they are, and even if they're against the run of play, it just proves to us how potent our counter attack is and how potent our counter attack can be. So that's always a good sign. Here we go again. It's in Dilu this time. Ref! Come on! Oh, The guy just kicked me. The guy literally just kicked me in the head. Oh, Sanchez Rebas. Took the early shot. He perhaps could have taken another touch, but... There we go, there we go, there we go. Goalkeeper's coming out. Oh... Oh, unlucky. Looking for that through ball. There we go. 2-0 half-time. Yep. No complaints here. No complaints here. It's been great so far. I don't think we've... We... Yeah, we've only conceded one goal so far in this preseason tournament. We've won our first game 2-0. Drew the second game. Won the... Uh, drew the second game 1-1 one, one, and then won the last game 2-0. And we're now 2-0 up in this one as well. 2-0 looking like a very, very favourable result for us so far in this tournament. Also, someone's, yeah, I don't know who it was in one of the other streams like a week ago. Someone was talking about, like, have you heard any of the Grimsby Town chants? And I can actually now, like, hear, like, someone said that they do, like, the clap claps with the fish thrown in there. And I can now hear the faint, like, echoes of that chant coming actually from the, the, the fans in the stadium every now and then. 
I can hear it in my ears and I can hear them chanting the word fish and now I actually understand what that means because I, I, I had no idea what they were saying like I heard them doing that chant and I just didn't understand what the hell they were meant to be saying oh come on oh unlucky unlucky go across go across go across Davis cover oh my god why are you committing get it away get it away oh my god he's offside Oh, are you fucking kidding me? How have I just got done like that? How have I just got done like that? How the fuck has that just happened? I've just been utterly humiliated. I have just been incredibly humiliated there. Look at that, the back flick header. I made two rash challenges down that far side. None of them timed at all well. Didn't even cause a defect, like didn't even give away the tackle. Didn't even give away the foul even, but how have I just got done like that? That is, that is insane. There is absolutely no way that I've just been done like that. How? We, I mean, to be fair, they've had like the lion's share of possession. But, oh my god, how have I just got done like that? That's just embarrassing. Honestly, I can't believe that. That is, I'm embarrassed by that, you know. I am so embarrassed. Look, I told you guys, a break away from FIFA, I mean, my defending... Is is poor at best. It is genuinely shocking at how bad I am at defending in this game. I don't think there's... Look, what are you doing there? Good tackle, though. Good tackle. Don't do anything stupid. There we go. Look for Ndilu. There we go. Oh! Yes, Ndilu! Nice little back heel. Who is that? It looks like it might be Mason Moore. I think it might be. I think it might be Mason Moore. The third goal for us. Restoring our two-goal cushion. Look at this. Look at this. Nice little back heel. Ooh, takes it in his stride. Gets it off of his left foot. Just past the goalkeeper. Come on. There we go. 3-1. Whoa. My heart was pounding. Still is pounding. Let's go. 3-1. Oh, it's Hassan, Hassan Tyler. Hassan Tyler scored that. Hassan Tyler? Hassan Tyler? Oh, I think it's Hassan Tyler, right? Yeah, he scored that. What a goal that was. Nice little nice little back heel assist from Ndilu there. I think that restores a little bit of faith in myself after making a mockery conceding their goal. Oh, 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 man. Fish, yeah, man, fish. Like, like I say, like I, I heard the audience chanting something along that those lines, and then someone said it in the chat, and I was like, yeah, you must, you said it in the chat, and I was like, wait, is that what they've been saying? And then I hear it in game, and I'm like, ah, uh, yeah. I started chanting it to, I started chanting it to my family the other day when I saw them. I just started clapping my hands in the living room and just saying the word fish, and they were like, what the fuck are you on about? Oh, good save, good save, good save. Yeah, I kept I kept saying that to my parents, and they were like, "What are you on about?" I was like, "You know, fish, man. It's Grimsby Town." I also watched um, the Brothers Grimsby yesterday. Such a stupid film, man. Oh, Dujon. Deflection. There we go. Right, we're gonna look for someone on the edge of the box. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try this ridiculous shit now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look at that. Brilliantly worked corner there. I mean, it's, the ball's still in their half. Oh, race. Unlucky, man. Perhaps just wanted to hit that first time. He didn't need to take that extra touch. Just got away from him and allowed the Andalek defence to recover the ball. Here they come now on a counter-attack of their own on this near side. Doku is offside. Brilliant offside trap played there. Fantastic, lads. Fantastic. Only less less than five minutes left now in this game. The semi-final of this preseason tournament. I think I'm going to sim the final. You know, leave it up to Lady Luck, I guess. Oh, my God. How's he still got that? How's he still got that? Oh, he tried the cheeky chip. We, we, had, to, we had to go for it. Oh! Oh! Good connection. But, there we go. 
was like, Lin, look at that, man. He just toe pokes it. Yeah, it's miles over the camera angle, man. It makes it makes it feel as if it's a lot closer than it actually is, and it does that to me all the time. Even in like real life, real life football's the worst, man. Especially when it's like a team you like and you want to see score a goal, and then you see them hit the shot, and they're like, oh, and like all the commentators are like, oh, it's, uh, you know, it's like, oh, it's body, and it's just like, it's it's about four yards wide. Don't get excited, please. Uh, I think I also have... Do I have the audio on? I do. Please don't, please don't copyright strike me for that. I don't think you could hear it anyway, but I accidentally had the, uh... The FIFA music on. I don't know when that happened. Huh. Alright, uh, let's... Yeah, let's sim this training. I hope that that wasn't coming through. I mean, it was probably distorted enough, right? Anyway, anyway, now that we've gone past that, let's get into the final. Oh, Red Bull Salzburg. This could be a tough one. This could genuinely be a tough game. Because, I mean, Salzburg, do they still have Haaland? Maximiliano Rogel. You know what, mate? Blocked. Blocked, unless you want to give me, like, 15 million for him. Just blocked. Office. Oh, we've got some more updates on some free agents. Let's go and have a look. I kind of don't want you. You're not being scouted. I don't know why you're in there. Frankie. I don't know why Frankie de Jong's in there. There's no way I'm going to afford this guy. Like, eight, no. Just no. Ooh, this was one of the free agent guys that was just signed. Uh, look at that man, the guy. That guy, yeah, I knew, I knew he was gonna look good as well. I think it's a free agent guy. I don't know. Luka Jovic, no. Eduardo Rossi. Where's all the free agent guys? I don't know why. Oh, I had reports on those guys. Gabriel Ramos, was he one of the guys in there? Oh, no, okay, so we've got a different report. Here we go. 64, 66. Ooh, 69. Okay. Shortlist in the transfer hub, but why not? No one else really impressive. I mean, this guy's alright. He's 23, 68. Could be a good utility player in the squad, I guess. Jaden Bogley was someone suggesting him to me. Kui Bing Zhang has been taken up. Calvin Stengs. None, no one else really ignites my fire, you know. Oh, we got some more. Or oh, are these just the players? Yeah, these are just the players from the one that I just looked at. Okay. Don't have to worry about that. Let's skip past all of these. Right. Final time against Red Bull Salzburg I think I mean I think the only change we'll make will put Cabral back in the team I think that's probably the only change that we'll make we've got Linz in there as well we could bring Linz on instead of like Davis yeah why not why not give Linz a bit of a run out and then let's put Harrison up top with Sanchez Rebas there why the hell not Osei Tutu where did this guy come from where was this? Where did this guy come from? Did I sign him? I think I signed the backup right back, maybe towards the end of last episode. I can't remember. Hmm. I don't remember signing that guy, but I mean, seems decent. Seems decent. Let's go ahead and sim this one. See if we can win this tournament. Come on, let's go. Oh, two-one lost. Two-one lost. I think we'll maybe pick up like another million for making it to the final. I don't know. Or, or at least playing. Not too sure if we will. Okay, we don't get any additional money for that. Alright, here we go. Let's move forward now to... Or actually, let's stop the sim whilst we can. 
let's have a look at the transfer harbor. Some of these free agent players that we just shortlisted. Uh, who was it? How is how is my my, my guy David Torres doing? I don't know. The guy from the first season, of course. Rian Brewster is at Parma now. Wow. Okay. What a what a weird career move. Troy Parrott still going strong at Spurs. Moro and this yeah this, this was it it was this Moro guy that I wanted to sign because he's a 72 rated centre forward so we could train him up to be almost better than Ndilu if you just want to be a rotation player if, I mean fair enough four years I can do that I can do that let's see the table mate it's the start of a new season I just lost the preseason tournament it's the start of the uh, new season. This is the start of season five. We haven't actually had the table. I mean, I can check. I guess you're looking in terms of like who is actually in the championship. So maybe I can have a quick look at that as well after this. Hey, we offer him 10k and he takes it. Brilliant. Uh, where are we? Let's have a look at the table then. So the table for the championship. Who is in it? Let's have a look. We've got Barnsley, Birmingham, Brentford, Bristol, City, Burnley, Cardiff, Derby County, Fulham, Grimsby. There we are. Huddersfield, Hull City, Leeds United, Middlesbrough, Nottingham Forest, Oxford United, Peterborough, Portsmouth, Preston, QPR, Reading, Sheffield Wednesday, Swansea City, West Brom and Wigan Athletic. So there we go. There's the table. There is the EFI Championship table in the future, in the year 2023, as of July that is where we stand. Let's go ahead. Get some training dropped on some of these players. Uh, I guess we'll leave everyone in there still. Wright is still working on his goalkeeping. But he's certainly going to be uh, pushing to be better than our backup Cordero. I don't know if he'll be as good as Pereira one day. I know Pereira is still relatively young. But yeah, who knows? He might be better. I think his potential was like 91 to 94, 90 to 94. So he does, I think, have a better potential than Pereira does. Fabio Pereira Silva. Okay, so this guy wasn't actually that great. That, that's that's 100% fine. Yo, Logan's back. How's it going, dude? Right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. So for some of you who have been watching my videos, you'll know that I'm a QPR supporter. And it just so happens that the first game, first game that we have to play this season, is going to be a game against QPR. So, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll have to see how that goes, obviously. I'm a bit torn at this moment in time. Let's go ahead to the press conference. Coming up against QPR in the first game in the 2023-2024 season. We can definitely push for it, you know. We have to be. We have to be pushing for it. <laughs> he needs time to adjust. Yeah, he does, man. He's going to... Rotation is key. Rotation is definitely key. But I think Time's Davis up. is definitely going to play. I don't know if I don't know if we'll play with Morrow up top. Maybe? Could go really rogue with it. But I kind of... I mean... What's the, what's the comparisons looking like? He's slightly faster. He's less physical. Less defensive minded, slightly better dribbling, slightly worse shooting. We'll, we'll, we'll even Dilu in. We'll certainly be putting. Uh, what's his face on the bench? We'll be putting Morrow on the bench. We'll be putting Coman on the bench as well. Uh, because I feel like he is invaluable to us. Uh, who was it that we just took off the bench? We just took someone off the bench. Oh, I can't remember who it was. Uh, let's put Hessen Tyler back on and then Osei Tutu. I don't know where I signed you from. But, uh, actually, yeah, you can stay on the bench, mate. Campbell Gordon needs to be on there. Alright, let's go. First game of the EFL Championship season. Season 5 in charge of Grimsby Town. Let's go. Let's play this game against QPR. My local team, the team that I support. It's going to be a... Uh, Certainly an interesting game. Let's go. 
Going up against QPR. First game in the EFL Championship, guys. Oh, getting the stretches in, working out those fingers, making sure that they're fresh and ready for the first game of the season. We've had a relatively decent preseason. Obviously, didn't win the tournament, but I feel like I'd like to say that we did quite well in that. So here we go. We're actually at Loftus Road. Let's go. I actually went right past there yesterday as well. I didn't go to the game. Uh, we drew 2-2 and Charlton scored in like the last minute of added time with 10 seconds to go, literally. It was five minutes of added time and they scored in the 90 plus five minutes and that that literally frustrated me. It was literally the last kick of the game. Eze, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, I know you're great, Eze. Eze, oh my... Jesus. Is that Eze? I think it was Eze. Yeah, fuck me. He's so overpowered on this game. This guy is so overpowered on this game. Jesus. I mean, my defense again, you know. My defense was poor. I don't know what I don't know what happened there. Come on, Cabral. Oh, 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 no! Oh, oh my God! Yo, Jamie HG fans in the chat. How's it, do how's it going, dude? Long time no speak. Oh fuck, man! They got the come on you are and everything. Oh, this is making me feel real intimidated, man. Oh, Dilo! Ah! Can't believe I hit the post from that. That was a perfect cross from Cabral on this near side. And I couldn't quite see who it was getting across their man at the far post. But the fact the goalkeeper pushed it and then it rolled back and bounced off of the post and away. Well, that was devastating. Go on, Dujon, please. Use your pace, mate. Use your pace. I don't want to I don't want to set a precedent of me saying that, you know. And Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh my god, I apologise for everything that just happened in like the last 30 seconds. I was trying to speak, I got confused. My defending, let's not question it, okay? Like, everyone can just stay silent in the chat. I don't want to be judged for how terrible that was. And how I literally kicked the ball to one of their players. And was somehow lucky enough to get away with not, like, giving them the second goal. Oh, it's just over him this time. Come on, man. That's that's a fantastic combination that we've got going on there. I don't know who it is who's getting forward, but they just need to grow, you know, a couple more inches. This is where I need Book. This is <laughs> this is where I need you, man. I need the I need a six foot ginger centre mid running forward, playing just behind the striker, maybe. That's what I need. That's when I need you, man. Why aren't you in this game? Why are you not in this game? Ah! Oh, I tried it again. Tried it again. I mean, this, this, let this through ball down to Cabral on this near side is definitely proving to be somewhat of a sort of outlook ball for us. It seems to be our go-to at the moment whenever we get forwards. Oh, come on, Dilu, dude! When your teammate wins the ball back like that, you have to be doing better, man. You have to be doing better. As a trying, trying something special again. Not going to work this time. Got to keep the ball moving. Got to keep the ball moving, lads. Let's go. Please! Oh my... Please! Ref! 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 Oh, how the fuck is this still 1-0? Jesus Christ. How? How? Someone... Please. I mean, I thought he was offside, but he managed to stay onside. How... How the hell has that just happened? I don't know how the ref's not given a, a, at least a penalty for that. We had that initial shot. It was off the crossbow or post or whatever it hit. And then, uh, and then we just got hacked from behind. Please! Oh my God! Please! No! What is going on? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Dude, go get up! Uh, someone, please! 
please explain how I've been so unlucky. Can someone please explain to me what the hell is going on? How is this, how is that even, how is that even possible? How the, how the hell is that possible? I don't, I don't, I, uh, that's, that's how, that's how ridiculously hurt I am. I've hit the post three times in this game. Three times. Nine times out of ten. All of those chances are being buried in the back of the net. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I am genuinely, as you can tell, fucking hell he's offside. I am genuinely, like, that is hurting me inside. You guys have no idea. I, I'm smiling because I'm just, I just find it so, like, too funny to believe, you know? It's just one of them. I can't believe I've hit the post so many times and it's still 1-0 to QPR. I mean, I'm glad for them and everything. There we go. Thank you. I thought I was going wide. If that hit the post, I would have... Desks would have been smashed. Controllers would have been broken. But we didn't. We scored it. All importantly, just after half time. Oh, my gosh. There we go. You can see the fans over near way end. Absolutely losing their mind. It was that Moore. Moore finally gets a shot on target. There we go. Goalkeeper gets beat. I think that's the least we deserve right now. Mason Moore. Last contribution to the game that was. Scoring the goal. Fantastic, mate. Take a rest. Hessen Tyler is on the pitch. Come on, lads. We need to get a second goal now. We've been so dominant already in this second half. I feel like we have been all over them this entire game. But it's just not worked out for us, as I say. Hitting that post. You love the post. I don't, mate. I don't. I fucking hate it. Bloody hate it, man. Oh, my... If we conceded, like, almost immediately after scoring. Jesus Christ. Right, we need to get this. We need to get the second goal, man. At least, at least the second goal. Oh, ref. I don't know why I keep complaining to the referee for that, but I think that that should have been a foul. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's out. That's out. That's out. There we go. Just hit it too hard, that man there for QPR, I don't know who that was, who played the ball over the top, I don't know what players they already have, what new players they might have. What is that pass? I mean, that was ambitious, but calm it down. Oh my gosh, ref. That was, a, I mean, got the ball, but that was a strong challenge, look at it, man. Oh, come on, please, man. We need to start this game off well. We need to start off this championship season well. We are going to be challenging for promotion. No doubt that QPR are going to be also challenging for promotion. But I feel like we just need to want it a bit more than they do, you know. That's that's the only way that we can win this and, you know, actually win promotion. We just need to want it more than the other teams that are going to be fighting against us for that promotion. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I passed it to Sanchez Ribas. I was looking to play it to Ndilu because he had more space. Oh, uh, why did you play the through ball? You should have just passed it. should have just done a normal pass. So keep the ball. Keep the ball. I know I'm concentrating way too hard, guys. I'm trying to win this one. I'm trying to set, you know, a statement of intent, really. Race! Race! Oh, I thought he scored that. Oh my gosh, I thought he scored that. Oh, I thought he had scored. Oh, that was a, I mean. Oh, I thought I scored that. I thought I scored that. I was getting ready to celebrate and everything. That is way too ambitious. There's no way anyone's getting to that. No, even, even Shadipo can't get to that. Who's been my favourite player in this career mode? Uh, probably, I mean, I guess the obvious choice for me would be Sanchez Ribas because I think he's been with us for quite some time. I think he, we signed him in our, like, just at the start of our second season in the League One, I think. Ah! 
I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you guys all had to endure that horrific sound that just came from my mouth. Jesus, man. Again, we've had our chances, man. We have had a lot of chances in this game. God, come on, man. Oh. Fuck me. Why? The post three times. The post three motherfucking times. <sighs> oh, God, guys. I can only apologize. Fucking win the fucking ball back then, you can. Oh, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Cunt is such a bad word to say. Oh, oh, that was the opportunity. That was the that was the opportunity. That was the last kick of the game for us. That was the last roll of the dice. Oh my gosh, that was too intense. That was probably one of the most intense games of FIFA I've ever actually played against a computer-controlled team. It's only professional difficulty and I should be winning them. I should be winning that. Look at that, man. We had more shots, more shots on target. 60-40 in terms of the possession that we had in favour of us. It's just... I'm sorry, guys. That's all I can say. I can just hold my hands up and just apologise to, you know, the Grimsby Town faithful. Oh, that's not a good way to start this season. Especially when I think that the board actually wants us to try and fight for promotion. Some questions regarding the match. <sighs> what do you make of Morrow's debut? He must give it all. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, the best is yet to come. Of course, Mason Ward, fantastic. He's been on fire. I'm fully responsible for that. Hey, look, so I picked much. the tactics. I decided to leave Davis out. Sign Eze. I can't sign Eze, man. He, the guy's going to be way too expensive. Uh, especially since I just spent like 9 million on Coman. I don't think I can sign Eze. I think Eze is definitely going to be way too expensive for me. I think he's going to be like an 80 rate player. That's, I mean, let's have a look. Of course, you know, I'm going to have a look at him. But I feel like he's going to be way too expensive for me. Six days on the scout. He's going to be far too expensive, mate. As much as I'd love to have him in my team. Just as that sort of creative attacking force. I just can't believe the way that we lost that game. That has utterly, utterly left me, like, devastated. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever felt that bad about a loss in my entire life. Sean Lee, they want my right winger. Nah, mate, that guy is the next best thing to come out of England since Jaden Sancho. There's no way I'm going to get rid of him. We've got a youth squad monthly report. Oh, yeah, I need to send out my youth squad, don't I? My youth scout. Billy Davis, you're too low for me at the moment. <laughs> 66 from Charlie Wright, Dylan Cox, 63, Daniele Riggi, yeah, look, 87 and 93, 86 and 92, and 87 and 93. That's the players that I'm looking for. Those are the players that I'm looking for. Look, let's fast forward a bit. I still can't believe that, man. 2 1, the way that we lost that. 2 bloody 1. Alright, is as a. Yeah, 80 rated, I knew it. I knew he was going to be 80 rated. There's no way I can loan him. I don't think I can loan him. I don't think QPR would want to loan him to me. <laughs> Approach to loan. Yeah, see, the club's not interested in loaning out a player. And I know I do not have enough money for him. So, Sorry, I can't do that as much as I would love to. I can't. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this next game. Because I am... Um, Looking for retribution, Hello. I guess you Good could say. You we're gonna take questions one at a time. Please we obviously want to, we will get a turn. you know, we are ready. We are ready, you know, we're going to prepare. 
we're good all over the pitch, you know. I think we are. Okay, guys, uh, we've got to wrap it up now. Thank. Loan him. The what? What do you say, the? Try. Yeah, yeah, I, I did try, mate. I tried. It said that I can't sign him. It said that they're not open to loaning him out because obviously he's one of their best players. He would, you know, he would come straight into that team. Why is, I mean... Linz is better than Dave, is better than Moore now. Ah, oh. Coman Moore, Morrow on the bench as well. We got we got a fairly decent team. I say two two on there. Edwards going up, Harrison going up. Lee's up to seventy two. He's almost going to be rivaling Xavier, and he's obviously a lot younger, I think, or maybe just one or two years younger than Xavier. So that could be good. Right, like I say, guys, they're going to play this game. Hull got a draw in their first game. Don't know who they were playing, but I need some. I need to. I need to win this game, and I need to start feeling a bit better about myself because it's not been great. I say that it's only been one game in the championship, but I think we're expected to do pretty well with the team that we've got in this season. So it's going to be uh, going to be annoying if we uh, can't get promoted in the Premier League. Like I say, I'm going to do my best to try. That's my only promise is that I'm going to try to get maybe not automatic promotion. But certainly, certainly try and push for a playoff spot because I feel like that's the least that you guys deserve, really. You know, we've been in... I, uh, the championship is annoying me. I mean, I did... So yesterday I got promoted to the Premier League in my Grimsby Town Football Manager game on my phone. So in the Premier League, we're doing actually pretty well in the Premier League. I think we're like fifth in the Premier League. Um, so yeah, like I say, I'm going to try... Try my best. I can't guarantee anything. I'm not going to make any like guaranteed promises. I'll sort of, all that I can say is that I'm going to promise uh, that I can try to try and you know get out of the championship this season. I really, I, really, I mean, ah, oh, pay attention, man. Pay the, pay attention to what the hell's going on. Stop trying to talk. Just stop trying to talk, mate. You're an absolute twat when you try to talk. Offside, offside. There we go. There we go. Come short, mate. Come short. There we go. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, he's got all sorts. Oh my God! The post! The post! What? I I need a break from this. How? How has that happened again? Just all right. I need to pour myself a drink. You say I have to win this, dude. Dude, I'm watching the replay now. Look at this fucking shot against the post, man. How? Why is it always happening to me, man? Any other time, that goes to the back of the net, especially with Sanchez rebath. I don't understand how it's. Ah, I, I'm sorry, guys. I like I say, I'm just getting myself a drink. I need a few moments to calm down. The post is uh being a bitch today. Ah, oh, it's just fuck's sake, man. Come on, don't overcommit defence like that. Offside, offside. He's trying to be fucking cheeky. He scores some weird backflip goal. That's what you get, mate. It's karma, mate. It's absolute karma. Don't put the fucking clown emojis in the chat, man. Dude, it's not funny, man. Fucking post, man. I swear, it's, it's because of you. You're the person that said that you love the post. Oh, good save, good save. Yes, come on! Is that Suarez? Is that Lombo bloody fucking Suarez, is it? I think it might be. That's my boy, look at that, look at that perfect cross. He gets to the head of his man. Bang, straight over the goal, straight over the top of the goalkeeper. Yes, Francisco Lombo Suarez. Come on, man. There you go. That goes for you, Book. That goes for the derby. What can he do from here? Oh my God! I hit the. 
what's more? I'm not even mad. That was a fantastic strike, but I'm a bit mad. I'm a bit mad, okay? I guess it wasn't the, uh, it wasn't the, uh, wasn't the post this time. It was a crossbar. So I'm not mad. Man. Fish. Oh my god, what distribution is that? He's offside, he's offside, ref. That's out, that's out. Thank fuck. Oh, right. Let's get your head back in the game. Let's go for some long motherfucking shots, yeah? Let's go for some mofo long shots. Oh, good shot, good shot. Another shot on target, forcing the goalkeeper to make a save. Perhaps shouldn't be getting a shot away from that position, so I guess from that point of view, very good that he managed to get it on target. Deilu! Oh, rocket into the top left corner. There we go. You just like London buses. You wait forever for one and then two decide to show up. There we go. We weren't at our best before the first goal. Now we've been fantastic. Two goals inside, you know, ten minutes or so. Fantastic. Bang. Bang. Look at that. Top left. Goalkeeper. Absolutely no chance. What a hit that is from Mbilu. Fantastic. 2-0. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Ooh, shooting star. Ooh. This, uh... Shooting stars. The song that I use for my goals. Oh, what a goal that would have been, but... I want to try and turn up this music a little bit. You know, this music holds a lot for me, man. This is just a song that I I don't know when I when I like in the in the first season of this uh, career mode. If you guys would go back and watch some of the videos, this is a song that I used when I score a goal. So I have a lot of love for this song. D Dark, Shooting Stars. What a song. Ah. Good interception. Control it now. Oh, let me get the live chat back up. Fish. Yeah, mate. Fish. Motherfucking fish. Young's fucking fish, man. I only clocked that the other day. I was talking to my mate and I was like, yeah, I didn't even... Oh, we had to get it away. Had to get it away there at the far post. Doesn't mean there's another corner for us. Ah, uh, it's just over. Just over. I mean, I say it's just over. It's miles over, but we've got a head on to it, so. No, you couldn't have, mate. Lee Dixon, you could not have done better than that. Trust me, mate. Shooting stars. Oh. Unlucky. Shut up, man. Sanchez Rebass would have been banging at him. Oh, unlucky. Right, there we go. 2 0. 2 0 half time. Good game. Good game so far, guys. Fantastic. Go ahead goal from Lombo Suarez. Coming up from the back for the corner. And then, of course, Ndilu scoring a belter of a goal. Shot into the top left hand corner of the whole city goal. This is at home, it's our first home game of the season, so expecting big things. The first home game of the season against the local rivals, Hull City. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Can he put it away? He must Fantastic goal from the boys. Fish! Look at that, that's it. Stir the fish, mate. Stir the fish soup. Look at that. Woo! What a goal. Come on. Well, it's good build up, but there's one player standing in 
Look at that, man. Fake shot. Sanchez Rivas. Bang. Not going to miss that. First goal of the season for Sanchez Rivas. Come on. Fish. Motherfucking fish. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Fish. Fish. But I can hear the crowd. I can hear the crowd, you know, chanting the fish. I'm looking forward to it. I can see Buch is spamming the chat with fish as well, man. Look at that. Look at that. Through ball. <sighs> Too close to the goalkeeper. Try it again. Unlucky, unlucky. We, we've played fantastically well. Look at that. So many fishes in the chat, man. So many fishes in the chat. Dry your eyes, mate. Oh. Good interception, douche, douche. Good tackle. Calm it down, that's it. Don't do anything stupid though, just calm it. Oh, that was almost a bit risky, but we got away with it. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Fish, book, man. Spam in the chat with fish. Everyone in the chat, spam fish. Fish for the fish boys. 3-0. 25 minutes left here in the game. That's easy possession. Win it back. There we go. Round the corner pass. Oh, ref! That was, uh, that was over the line! That was... Uh, I'm checking that. I'm checking that. I'm checking that. That was over the line. I'm checking that. <laughs> Alright, right. Let's uh, set this up. Let's hide this. This That was over the line. That, that was over the line. I'm, I'm watching this. I'm going to get this from the side angle. That was definitely over the line. Right, here we go. We're going to slow it down. That was over the line. Ah! It's not 100% over, is it? Fuck, man. Why? Why you do this to me? Uh, uh, ah! Okay. I stand corrected, guys. Ah, oh, my God. Again, another shot off the crossbar. It seems to be the crossbar in this game. It was the post in the last game. So far in this game, we've hit the crossbar twice. No, oh my gosh. How are you getting done like that? Keep the clean sheet, lads. Keep the clean sheet. At least try it. At least try it. Pereira, good punch. Needs to maybe get it a bit further away from danger next time. Someone go, someone go, someone go. Well done, dude. That's it. Ah, oh, I tried it. You could see Cabral down here on the near side. Tried it. Hope you have a good Christmas. Yeah, I hope you have a good Christmas too, dude. I say, I mean, I might have a live stream tomorrow playing something a bit different. Not too sure what I'm going to be playing yet. It might have something to do with Witcher. Might not actually be The Witcher 3. I don't know if you guys know anything about The Witcher. But obviously there was that new Netflix series that dropped uh, last week on Friday. And I've been watching the hell out of that. And I finished it over the course of a couple of days. Friday and Saturday. And yeah, I, uh, it's making me want to play some more Witcher. Maybe not a Witcher game, maybe not one of the series, but certainly be more associated with the whole Witcher universe because that Netflix show is incredible. Oh, I don't know how the ball found its way through to Sanchez Rebus there, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Play Fish Simulator. <laughs> Is there a game called Fish Simulator? Oh man, Book Logan's asking you to stop. Just calm down a bit with the fish, man. I appreciate it, and I appreciate why you're doing it. But yeah, maybe just calm down a little bit. 4-0. Fantastic performance from the lads in the local rivalry here. Are we going to keep a clean sheet? A couple of minutes left here in this game. Clean sheet is very much a possibility for us. It's something that we need to improve on is our defending, obviously. 
We're not going to be getting any more goals in this game with balls played through like that. That's it. Calm it down. We don't have to do anything. We've got plenty of time. There we go. 4 0. Final score. You know the Witcher. Your dad played it. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I don't know if I'll actually play any of the Witcher games. Um, but we'll see. I know that I have, uh, or I've been playing some of the Witcher in the background. Um, so I don't know if I'll actually play the Witcher 3 or not on the stream. I'll probably end up playing something, something a game that is in the Witcher universe. I don't want to give too much away, but it's not actually a Witcher game. Or if it's not part of the Witcher, Witcher trilogy. But it is very much based in the same universe. Please no. Please no what? What 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 are you on about? Please no to me playing the Witcher. Thanks, that's all the questions we have for you. There we go, look at that. Sanchez rebounds, look at that celebration, mate. Absolutely sensational. Uh da -da 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 -da. We will leave these guys. I kind of want to get Linz's vision up to 70. Wright is almost up to 67. Almost as good as Cordero. Your fingers hurt. Yeah, I bet they fucking do, mate. Spamming fish like that. Okay, EFL Cup. I'm not too worried about the EFL Cup. I'm just going to rotate my team, sim it. If we can get knocked out, then that means I have to play less games, which is always great. And I don't actually... You never actually get given specific objectives relating to the Carabao Cup. It's always FA Cup. So I don't actually know if I'm going to even bother with the Carabao Cup. I know that's disrespecting it maybe a little bit. Maybe it is. I mean, I, I wouldn't take anything away from it. It is a great tournament to win, obviously. It is one of the four major trophies in the UK. But I just don't I don't think it's... In the grand scheme of things, I mean, it's, yeah, like I say, it's a great tournament if you can win it. But I feel like it's definitely a tournament that you can rotate some of your less experienced or fringe players into the team and actually see how well they can play so that's what we're gonna do i know it's perhaps maybe not the best idea in the world but we're gonna leave it at that anyway we'll get davis in the middle and pollock on the right and then we'll put cordero in between the sticks he's up to 70 now which is fantastic so we're gonna leave this we're gonna sim this game in the efl league cup the carabao cup Coming up against Reading, like I say, just rotating the squad. It's really a nothing cup, I don't really care. So we lose 3-1. We did play, you know, very much a second string, maybe even a third string side there. So I can't really complain about that too much. I did play White House. I did play a bunch of the fringe players in that team. So 3-1 to get a goal was good. But yeah, I didn't really expect anything from that. And it just means that we don't have to play the... Um, we don't have to play any of the Carabao Cup games anymore, so that's all great. You want to spam fish, dude. Maybe a bit later. Maybe just give it a break for now. Like, I appreciate your support. And, like I say, I understand why you're doing it. Right, now we're going to rotate our first team into the squad. And then sim this game as well. We haven't actually simmed the game in the championship yet so far this season. So we're going to go ahead and sim one right here. We're going to take the opportunity to see what the best first team outfit can do when they are put in and we sim a game. Hopefully it goes well. Not really sure what to expect, but I'm hoping it goes relatively okay. Uh, where is Dujon? Okay, there we go. Uh, Lee... Can't really justify having Lee. Maybe I need like a centre mid who's like 70 or something. Would you like to see? Would I like to see you in real life? Uh, not really, mate. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not into that sort of stuff. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna get. Nah. I right, well, not certainly not in a moment. Like. Ooh, 2-1. There we go. Xavier and Race coming in clutch. You're just going to put fucking fish icons because you can't say fish. God fucking damn it. There we go. Thank you very much, Xavier. Yes, you did prove me right to put you in the team. You scored a goal. I expect definitely a lot more from you. 
Right, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to actually set up my scouts. Ooh, look at that, good. Still working on the grind on some of those young players in the training. Let's go ahead. Where do you guys want me to send my scouts? I've got some... I've got some youth scouts. Yeah, I'm not meeting you if you're 10, mate. Sorry. That is uh, a bit too creepy. Uh, where do we want to send our five-star scout? Where do we think is the best place to send our scout, guys? I'm trying to think. Give me a random country. It doesn't have to be like one of the mainstream countries. It can be. But I just want a random country to send my five-star scout to. Like I said, it doesn't have to be one of the mainland countries. If you don't get scouted for town, you're playing non-league football. Hey, man. Non-league, I mean, Jamie Vardy played non-league football. You know, start off low, dream big. Anything can happen, dude. Anything can happen. Like I say, give me a suggestion of where in the world you want me to send my five-star scout to see if we can find the next best thing. I was thinking maybe like France or Germany, but I don't know. Maybe we can go further afield, maybe somewhere a bit more obscure like Poland. Maybe over in South America, but not Brazil or Argentina. I don't know. Tell me, tell me where you want me to send my five-star scout, guys. Maybe, maybe China. We could find some Chinese wonder kids. Japan, Saudi Arabia. I don't know if we'll find much players out there, but it could be a good shout. Again, some of these Middle Eastern countries, or certainly Eastern European countries, rather, are piquing my fancy a bit. Maybe Italy. Maybe Croatia. Could find. The next Modric, guys, let me know in the chat where you want me to send this scout, please. I am open for all kinds of suggestions. I don't know what that flag is. Why are you putting a flag in the chat? Um, Where are we going? Where are we going? Should we send him... Should we send him to France, do you think? I think we're going to send him to France. I think we're going to send him to France for a playmaker. We need to find a French playmaker. Let's send these guys to some random other countries as well. Let's send you to Japan. I don't know, for a technically gifted Japanese player. You want us to send them to Nigeria. I don't know if we can... I don't know if we can send anyone to Nigeria. I don't know if we can do that. Oh, we can. Oh, Ooh, okay. I didn't know Nigeria had... Uh, what we were able to find... Uh, let's go for a defensive-minded player in Nigeria. Let's find the next... Ah, uh, did I just mess up that Jordan Cooper scout thing? Hmm. He was meant to set up a scout. I think I recalled him. That was a bit dumb for me. But there we go. We've set up some scouts. I'm going to go and fix the other scout problem when he comes back. When we can send him out again. Yes, okay. Where did we? Where, where are we going to send them? We we're going to send them to Japan, weren't we? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send them to Japan. We sent Morgan Rose to Nigeria to find a defensive-minded player, and it was Japan. We want a technically gifted player from Japan. There we go. Now that's all back up and, and set up again. Let's. I think we're going to sim the next game, and then I think I'll play one more game on the stream. Slow start here. Coming up against Cardiff, we're in 8th place at the moment. 6 points from a possible 9. Obviously we've played... We only played one game. Oh, I forgot to rotate Pereira back into the team for that last game. But we still won it, so... Let's put him back where he belongs, in between the sticks for us. Ooh, we'll, we'll, we'll do a bit of rotation as well. We'll put Davis in there. We'll put Moore back on the pitch. We'll put Coman up top. I don't know if I want to sacrifice and Delu. Maybe maybe we'll put in Moro. There's only, there's only one less rating. And maybe we'll leave it at that. I think we can only really leave it at that. Maybe. Yeah, I'll leave it at that for now. Dude, I never said you were creepy, man. It's just meeting people over the internet these days. Some like messed up shit goes on, you know. Here we go against Cardiff. Come on. Let's pick up our third win of the season. Ooh, Xavier with the two goals after going 1-0 down. Fantastic, fantastic performance. We're proving that we can sim games now and actually get a result, which is always great as we move forward in the championship. So like I say, I think 
I mean, I, I don't know if I've actually checked the objectives. I might have checked the objectives towards the end of the last stream. But certainly here, yeah. So the youth development, within two seasons, I've one player, play at least 50%. So we've got 17 eligible players. So I feel like we might be able to do that. Um, we have got some brand exposure stuff going on. Uh, so we need to increase season ticket holders by at least 10% of the stadium's capacity. Financial keep salary growth under 45%. Yeah, that's not... Or oh, under 20%. That's that's not happening. That's... that's. I mean, we signed Coman. That's, that's not happening. That is not happening. It could be Momo. You will never know. You don't, <laughs> you don't have to. Don't worry about it. I mean, I was, I was asking people, oh, yeah, mate, it would be great to actually go to, like, a Grimsby Town game at some point in my life. Just because of this, it would be fantastic to go down there and watch a game, but... People were saying, yeah, don't come to Grimsby, man, it's a shithole. And I was just like, okay. People were telling me not to come to, uh... Not to come to Grimsby. You could be Momo. Oh, God, man. Now I'm gonna go to sleep and dream about Momo. Like, that's what's gonna happen. You guys keep saying Momo. I've seen that shit. Well, I haven't, like, physically seen it. I mean, I've seen what Momo is, and that shit is... That is, uh creepy to say the to say the least Xavier man I was going to rotate you out of the team but you've just been too good Xavier has been absolutely fantastic for me over the last couple of games what I am going to do, 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 do maybe put you on instead there there we go okay let's go coming up against Leeds Leeds are in third place we are in fifth place we win this we will leapfrog them go just above them on third, in third place, sorry, on 12 points. So we'll be on 12 points. Might be drawing with West Brom as well. You don't want to go to Grimsby, they lose all the time. I know, man. I know people were telling me that Grimsby lose all the time. I'd still, I'd still like love to go there and just, just for, I don't know, just for the banter. I could definitely take like a camera with me, maybe like a, like a small, uh, GoPro or something and vlog the game. That'd be fantastic. I think that'd be funny to go there and vlog the game. Do like a do like a Grimsby Town um, Grimsby Town fan TV thing. You know, go and watch them and then go and interview some people after the game. That'd be fantastic. There we go. Oh, Look at that interception. Here we go, here we go. Oh, and D loop. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. 1 0. Let's go, lads. Let's go. Final game in the stream. 1 0 up inside the first 10 minutes. Can't really ask for more inside the first 5 minutes. Winning the ball immediately from their kickoff. And just converting our first chance, our first shot on goal. Good tackle there. Who was that from? I think that was from Race. Oh, unlucky and Dooley was waiting. He saw the players ahead of him trying to time their run perfectly. And I think that they might have been onside if we managed to get the ball away. But just got tackled in the nick of time there. Here they come now on this near side. Brilliant silky passing from Leeds. Fantastic interception though. Rogel, oh... Was that Lombo Suarez with an interception, but almost gives it away. Here we go. Let's go. Build from the back. Sanchez Ribas. Oh, straight at the goalkeeper. Straight at the goalkeeper. He's spamming fish in the chat again, guys. Oh, man. There we go. There we go. Whipped in. Whipped in. Oh, ping that. Ping that Davis. Corner? Oh, no. I really want there to be like a absolutely smashing shot from like 35 yards out that just pings into the back of the net. I don't know if I'm going to get it against Leeds because they're a difficult team to come up against. But, you know, we're 1-0 up. Can always hope. Can always go for the audacious shots if we go two goals to the goods. Then I'm definitely going to be trying to take some long shots with the players who I know can take long shots. So... Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Stay on him. Good tackle. Look at that. Ah, oh, again, their, their defence is just as good as ours. Maybe better than ours. 
You know, we've only got three centre backs playing, so we don't have any out and out wingers with pace or wing backs with pace, sorry. Good tackle, good tackle. Stay on him, stay on him. That's ours. Ooh. All right. Come on, 25 minutes in. We need to have some more of the ball. Play it, play it, play it. Keep it on. Round the corner. There we go. Cabral on this near side plays it into Ndilu. Oh, why would you play that ball? I don't know why. I'm complaining about the player, even though I was the person that pressed the through ball, and I, I was like, you know, I'm going to try that through ball. I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I do that half the time. I don't know why I try to be way too ambitious when all I need to do is just play the simple pass. No, 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 no. That's it. That's it. I like to maybe maybe I cause my own problems because I like to play out of the back. Ah! And every time we get forward, it just, it's just again that last ball is lacking, man. That final pass. There we go. There we go. Win the throw in on this near side. Here we go. Got some time and space now. Oh yes! Look at that. Brilliant goal from Edson Race. There we go. I can't even do that celebration. But there we go. Brilliant, brilliant goal. Look at that nice timed ball through to him from Ndilu. Cuts back in on his left foot. Goalkeeper flies past him into the back of the net. Come on, 2-0. That's what I'm talking about. Away from home against Leeds. Fantastic performance so far from the guys. Going in 2-0 to the good. Into the half-time break will certainly be... Very positive sign for us. Look at that. A fantastic interception again. We've been not great defending today, but it's been better than we have been. Look at that again. Just a determination to win the ball back. Davis is through. Davis. Ooh, 3 deal. Let's go. I mean, this is absolutely amazing performance from the guys. Can you do it one more time? You guys need to stop fighting over your fishes, man. Look at that, man. 3 nil. The Fish Boys, 3-0 up away from home against Leeds. Absolutely fantastic from the guys. I haven't changed the difficulty. It's still professional, guys. That's as high as I'm willing to go at the moment because, yeah, if it, if I went any higher, I definitely wouldn't enjoy it. But if I went any lower, I feel like it would be too easy for me. And even then, if I go any higher, I think that I'll just end up losing a lot of games. All right, here we go. Second half, 3-0 to the good. Fantastic from all of the lads involved. Even the guys not scoring the goals have been fantastic. And D oh, ref! Ref, that was not a good challenge. You just pushed me on the floor. That's it, good interception. Calm it down, pass it around at the back. There we go. He's onside. Xavier, man, where's the pace from Xavier, dude? Still going backwards, all the way to the goalkeeper. Oh my God, he's oh, he's on side, he's on side. Dujon, here we go. It's time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. An opportunity here. There's some space oh. to get the ball into. Oh my God! What? <laughs> how? Someone, someone, does someone tell me how? Like, how do you, how do you overhead kick? Because that would have been a perfect opportunity to try it. Unlucky man. Again, I was looking for the ball through to Sanchez Rebas. So we'll restart with a throw in. I got 11 fish, what are they called? Bob. Let me guess. I, I don't know. Do you actually have 11 fish? Like, is that, a, is, that a, is that a thing? Do you have 11 fish? Oh, ref, where was the advantage there? Come on, man. I don't know. Billy, Joe, Precious. 
I don't know, maybe is it you have eleven fish? Is it Vernum? Is it Ogbu? Uh who else used to play for them? McKeown. Well I say who used to play for them. They they still play for them, right? But obviously not in my game. Alright. Stay on him, stay on him. Keep the clean sheet intact, lads. Get it away, that's it. Wide, wide header there from that Leeds attacker. Pollock's coming on for Rogel. You've got 11 fish. Guess what they're called? Grimsby Town. You should, you should put that in a Christmas cracker, mate. You should uh, <laughs> write that down on a Christmas cracker joke. Right. <laughs> That's how disappointing that joke was, dude. I mean, I know it's not even a joke, but it's just like, I genuinely thought that you had 11 fish and you were just trying to make a Grizzly Town joke. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't even. Don't even. Oh, my God. Pereira. Get it away. Get it away. Only half clear by Lombo Suarez. As soon as this Linz on this near side now, trying to pick it up. Again, straight at Pereira. Good, good hands there from Pereira. Win the throw on, there we go. Here we go. Final game on the stream. Cabral on that far side now. Oh, I tried to cut back. You have a shark named me. Mate, I'm the manager. Fish are friends, not food, man. Yeah, that, that, that should be a chant. Fish are friends, not food. I don't know how that goes. I don't know how you'd work that into the form of a chant. It's Finding Nemo. It's Finding Nemo. Fish are friends, not food. It's Finding Nemo. Something like that. I don't know. Ah! Brace. What is up with your touch? Why are you? I don't know what's going on there. No. Fuck me. That's definitely a penalty, right? The guy's just punched him in the head. Oh, come on. What is going on? Why are you guys just being dispossessed so easily? There we go. 3-0. Rather well, less exciting second half, but the job was done at the end of the first half and we went in 3-0 into the break. There we go. Winning against Leeds. Fantastic, fantastic start here in our first season in the Championship. Season 5 in charge of Grimsby Town. Absolutely amazing. Finding Sanchez Ribas. Basically, yeah. Finding Sanchez Ribas. I mean, I know where he's going to be. He's always going to be in the box. You know what? Give them full credit. They played well, but you were able to... What did you make of the second half? Uh... It's just time for us to focus on our next game, you know. It was a bit lackluster, but uh, we just played our game. We didn't focus on any of their tactics. We just wanted to get the job done, and we did inside 45 minutes as well. So, And to keep a clean sheet is always great. Right, let's just sim forward a little bit more. Right is up to 67 rated now. The young goalkeeper for Grimsby is doing fairly well in the training sessions. Let's sim forward. To our next game and then we'll have a look at the table you can see there on the screen we are actually in third place now Burnley and West Brom have played five and they've won all of them we've played five and won four and lost one I think that's what we've done at least so yeah I mean we are we're, we're starting off well whether or not we can carry it on towards uh, you know the sort of nitty gritty part of the season as we approach up to Christmas is another thing to be seen but we're certainly going to try our best so, like I say, we've got Birmingham coming up against next. I think it might be an away game, maybe. Maybe maybe a home game. It's a home game against Birmingham. Just deal with... Oh, Coman's going off for international duty. Don't worry, mate. Make some more. You will definitely play the next game. Let's have a look at the standings. Let's have a look at the top goal scorer standings. We're not even on the top eight goal scorers. So that's I'm not going to look at that. 
But we're going to go ahead and look at the standings. As I say, Burnley and West Brom both on 15 points. Five wins, no draws, no losses. Slightly better goal difference for Burnley. Then we are in third place. 12 points, four wins and one loss. Fulham, Reading and Leeds occupy the remaining playoff spots. Then we've got Preston, Brentford, Barnsley, Cardiff. And we'll just go down. QPR in 13th place. Hull City are down in 19th. And then in the relegation zone at the moment, we've got Wigan, Peterborough and Oxford United. Obviously, I think Oxford United must have been promoted into the uh, championship um, this season. So it's going to be tough for them. But they find themselves rooted at the bottom of the table with Peterborough, who haven't won a game yet, as haven't Wigan, Portsmouth and Millsborough, but they've picked up points elsewhere. So Peterborough and Oxford are still looking for their first points. So Birmingham, as you can see, 17th place. They're the game that we're going to be playing at the start of the next live stream. I am about to finish the live stream, uh, Logan. So yeah, like I said, I just took you guys through the standings. I feel like we've gotten off to a relatively decent start in the championship. We want to try and, you know, push for promotion. If we can get automatic promotion, it would be a lot better than having to play through the playoffs. But we'll see how it goes. The first five games in, sat in third place. Like I say, guys, we're going to end the stream here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure, you know, to give it a like and subscribe if you're new and everything good. Maybe leave a comment or two as well. Uh, maybe give me some suggestions of formations or players you want me to sign. So, yeah, like I say, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I will see you guys later. Thank you very much for joining and I hope you guys have a good rest of your Sunday evening and I hope you have a good Monday tomorrow as well. I'll probably be live streaming tomorrow, maybe around the same time. So m maybe not playing FIFA, but certainly playing something a little bit different. So yeah, I might be streaming a bit earlier as well. I might have a couple of streams on tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.